Hey everyone, welcome back to Lace Up Channel. My name is Mickey. Today we're going to talk about decks a little more in depth to help you visualize how it actually works. We're going to touch upon what DEX is, what the benefits are, and how it enables you to fix and improve your collections and minimize the amount of disputes that your vendors have with your company. So let's get right into it. DEX is a process invented by supermarket chains that enables vendors to come in with a little device that looks like this and a little device that looks like this. For those of you that don't know, every single DSD company in the world has a mobile device, okay, that they utilize to make invoices for the customer. And then this device is utilized to transmit that invoice from here into the customer system so that it will create a payable for the customer. So let's say for instance that the customer in this situation is Walmart, okay, and you have a dairy company coming in to visit Walmart and what that dairy company wants to do is create an invoice on this device. So let's say that they're going to sell five half gallons to Walmart. Now, once that invoice is created, it's gonna look something like this. So you see right here, Walmart, the dollar amount, the invoice number, all the details that you need for the invoice. What the driver does at this point, once that invoice is created, they're gonna hit the little check mark. Let's see if you guys can see it right here. And then there's a button up here that says DEX. Okay, now prior to hitting that button, they have to take this device and Walmart has a port in every backdoor receiving that looks like this. Okay, so the driver takes this, puts it physically into that port and taps the DEX button. So let's go ahead and tap that. Once we tap that DEX button, we get a big DEX option down here. And this DEX option is what physically transmits the invoice out of this device here into Walmart system. So now the driver goes like this and you're gonna get a representation, a cartoon representation of what it looks like. You simply put this into the port, hit start DEX at the bottom of the screen and that invoice is transmitted from the device into Walmart system. Now the process doesn't stop there. Once the invoice gets transmitted into Walmart system, it goes into Walmart's receiving gun. Now this is just a, a representation of what a receiving gun looks like, but basically the receiver will be able to see all the items from that invoice in this receiving gun. And then they'll be able to take the little scanner here and start scanning in the product coming into the Walmart store. Now that's great because the receiver no longer with DEX has to key in item by item using this keypad. The invoice is already existing in, in, in here in the screen. Now, what happens at this point is the receiver can adjust three things. Let's say for instance that the invoice had a product that's not authorized for that Walmart store. Well, this receiving gun will show the receiver that that product's not authorized. Okay, and it will remove that product from the invoice. Let's say for instance that the vendor is saying that they're bringing 10 half gallons into Walmart because it's a dairy distributor. But when Walmart goes to actually receive the product, there's only five because there was a mispick. Well, guess what? The receiver can use this gun to make that adjustment as well. Lastly, let's say that a Walmart has a price in their system for that half gallon. Let's say that that price is $5, but the vendor is charging Walmart $7. So there's a discrepancy in the price. This discrepancy could cause an issue later on, but what DEX does is it will automatically adjust the price on this scanning gun from the seven to the $5. So again, this is the gun for the receiver. And again, I know this isn't exactly what Walmart uses or any other grocery store uses, but it's a representation of what they use. Now, once the receiver is done receiving the invoice on this device, what happens is they close out the device on this gun and the driver is going to take their DEX device again, put it back into the port, okay? And then they are going to hit start DEX one final time. Now, once they hit that start DEX, the system will retrieve all the changes made by the receiver on this gun here. So if the receiver changed the quantity, if a price got adjusted, if a product was unauthorized, that change, that adjustment will go back from the receiver's gun back into the driver's device. Now, why is this important? This is very important when it comes to collections, okay? When it comes to disputes later on down the road because our system lace up will take that invoice that was adjusted by the receiver and it will put it into, okay, the, the distributors or the vendors accounting system. 
So if the vendor has a QuickBooks system or, or a Dynamics or some kind of accounting system in their back office, any adjustments made in the actual Walmart store will end up back in their system, meaning that the receivable in the vendor's accounting system will match the payable in Walmart's accounting system. So that the two transactions are identical so that there can be no disputes, there will be no collections, no, no possible argument as to what actually got delivered to the customer. So DEX, at the end of the day, provides two huge advantages to all the vendors that do it. Number one, obviously it speeds up the receiving. Number two, it syncs up the invoice that's actually physically being received by the receiver with the invoice that the driver and that the distributor or vendor has in their system. This ensures that those, that those invoices match, which ensures that there can never be any disputes. So again, number one, it speeds up receiving tremendously, and number two, it eliminates all disputes. Now, if you guys have any questions about DEX or about how it physically works, hit me down in the comments below. I'll make sure to get back to you personally. Apart from that, I look forward to seeing you guys next video. Take care.